Our personal yes to God is also a personal yes to God's people. God does call us to a personal relationship with Him, but He does not call us to a private one. God wants us to have a relationship with His people. It's in those relationships that God can do some of His most powerful work. That is why He wants us to keep the Sabbath holy as a community. It's also why we join small faith-sharing groups or Bible studies and go to confession. Our relationship with God is personal. And because each of us is unique, each of our relationships with God will be unique. But these small differences in our relationship with God are exactly what God uses to inspire us through the community to grow in a deeper relationship with Him. We are blessed by embracing our brothers and sisters in Christ. Even those brothers and sisters in Christ who have a relationship with God that is different from ours. In fact, the Catholic Church teaches that we can even be blessed by friendships with people in other Christian churches. God wants us to be blessed by Christians within our Catholic tradition and also by those Christians outside of our Catholic tradition. God wants us to have a relationship with all of his people. If you want to say a deeper yes to God, remember to say a deeper yes to his people, all of his people, even those who may worship differently than you. Do you agree with God that while he wants a personal relationship, he does not want us to have a private relationship with him? No two relationships with God are exactly the same. All of us come to God with unique needs and unique blessings, and therefore all of us end up with a slightly unique relationship with God, whether that's within the Catholic Church or in our relationship with Christians who are outside the Catholic Church. And yet it's exactly those unique relationships and those differences that God uses to sharpen us, grow us, and inspire us in our own personal and Catholic relationship with Him. God does not want you to be intimidated by or run away from Christians who worship differently than you, whether that's within our Catholic tradition or even outside of our Catholic tradition. In fact, the Catholic Church teaches that the grace of the Holy Spirit in the hearts of our separated brethren, that's non-Catholic Christian brothers and sisters in Christ, can be a help to our own edification and bring a deeper realization of the mystery of Christ and the Church. Simply put, People who are different from us can perhaps be the people that God uses most powerfully to change us into a greater likeness with His Son. And as you grow in your relationships with people who are different than you within our Christian world, you just might discover that we are more one than you may think. It's because of that oneness that the Catholic Church could sign the Joint Declaration on the Doctrine of Justification, where it says, Justification takes place by grace alone, by faith alone. The person is justified apart from works. That sounds like something that every Catholic should reject. And yet here it is in the words of the church being accepted by the church. You see, the truth is we are not as different as we may think from our non-Catholic Christian brothers and sisters in Christ. And we're not as different as we may think even from our Catholic brothers and sisters in Christ who worship differently. To this point, Pope Francis said, The intentions of Martin Luther were not mistaken. He was a reformer. And today, Lutherans and Catholics, Protestants, all of us, agree on the doctrine of justification. On this point, which is very important, he did not err. He made a medicine for the church. Catholics and evangelical Christians are more one than we think. And the reality is, is that God just wants us to grow into that oneness more deeply. And when we do, we are going to grow into a more deep and personal relationship with him.